celebrated actress Dame Emma Thompson has admitted that the experience of living with both her mother and daughter throughout the COVID-19 pandemic has left her feeling grateful she can still get up a hill but depressed about her thighs. She spoke about witnessing the aging process in her mother, while her daughter's life seemed to be just getting started. In a piece for The Guardian, Emma described the intergenerational connection between all three women, and, in turn, how existing between affected her own self-image. Remembering her second Christmas under COVID-19 restrictions, Emma reflected on being sandwiched between her 22-year-old daughter, who she shares with husband Greg Wise, and 89-year-old mother. She wrote, this year, more than ever, the umbilical connection between us tugged at me as I, Janus in waiting, observed, monitored and enjoyed the miraculous luxury of three generations together. The actress went on to discuss the turbulent emotions that come with watching your parents and children get older. Living between these bodies is an odd mixture of joy and grief, she admitted. I exist between them. I'm grateful I can still get up a hill and I'm depressed about my thighs. However, Emma went on to explain that the feeling she had from spending time with both generations was overwhelmingly positive. Instead of grieving my mother's aging, instead of envying my daughter's youth, I find I am buoyed up and calmed down by turn, she said. During the article, Emma also observed the patience and fragility of her elderly mother, in contrast to the chaos and electrical charge of her daughter. Speaking about Gaia, she said, she's brimful of the world, and the image in my mind's eyes of her walking away towards the sun carrying a rucksack. My mother sitting by the fire, Emma continued, dozing to the crackle, and me standing in a doorway, held between the two states of departure. One towards action and one into stillness. This essay comes as Emma prepares to hit our screens once more after starring in the bound-to-be controversial film Good Luck to You, Leo Grand, which sees a woman hire a male prostitute in the hopes of having an orgasm for the very first time. The film, which also features Peaky Blinders star Daryl McCormack, had its world premiere at Sundance Film Festival last month. It follows widowed school teacher Nancy, who hires male prostitute Leo Grand, Daryl, after spending her adult life teaching religious studies and not being very adventurous in the bedroom. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, the actress discussed the harsh standards that women have continued to face in the industry. Nothing has changed in the dreadful demands made upon women in the real world world but also in acting, she said. This thing of having to be thin is still the same as it ever was, and actually in some ways I think it's worse now. The star went on to admit. The age that I am makes it extremely challenging because we aren't used to seeing untreated bodies on the screen. Emma has starred in plenty of hit films over the years, including Howard's End, Remains of the Day, Love Actually, and the Harry Potter franchise. One of her most memorable roles to date was when she played Eleanor Dashwood in 1995's Sense and Sensibility, which is where she met her husband Greg Wise, who portrayed her love interest John Willoughby, 